what is up you guys it's Kyola welcome back to my channel if you've been following my channel you know I got a corgi puppy this is Dexter I got him a little less than a month ago and he is just the cutest thing in the freaking world just look at him look at him look at that cute face my baby so I'm gonna go put him down for a nap and then let's just get started <laughs> In today's video, I'll be showing you what I keep in Dexter's puppy bag. I just put him down for a nap, so let's just get right into the video. This is his puppy bag. I got the bag itself from Costco, but I did find it on Amazon, and I will link it and everything inside the bag in the description box down below. I showed a bunch of things that I have in this bag and things that I use every day in my new puppy haul, so go ahead and check that out as well. But this is the bag that I use for any sort of outings that I take Dexter on, whether it's to the vet or when we travel to go visit my family. He hasn't had all of his vaccines yet so I'm not able to take him out like hiking and stuff just yet but as of now I still just love to be prepared wherever we go. I personally love this bag because even though I have a bunch of stuff in here it's not too heavy on the shoulders and as you can tell just from looking at it at a glance there's so many pockets and areas for you to keep things for your puppy starting at the top pocket I actually don't keep anything in here but it is very spacious if you wanted to keep like treats things that you want to grab and go really quickly from your bag on the left side i just keep a water bottle whether it is a reusable water bottle or just a plastic one i just need to keep water here at all times and on the right side i keep some hand sanitizer this is for when i have to pick up his poop or if we're just out and about this is a must this is a must especially when we start going to dog parks and stuff and on the pocket on the right there is another zipper. This is where I keep extra poop bags. I think I have three or four of them in here. And again, there's still so much room in this pocket. The poop bags kind of just hang out. If we're on the go and he poops, I'm able to just grab it, pull it, and just pick it up right away. So I really liked this. Some bags didn't come with it, and I just didn't really like that because then I'd have to put my bag down, look through all of it, try to find it, and especially you saw the rolls. They're really small, so they can get lost very easily in a big bag. And in this one, I keep potty pads. He is being potty trained. He's been doing really good just peeing on the pee pads and not so much on the carpet anymore, but I just like to keep extra and let's get into the bag now. Again, there is, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff in this bag. I like to be as prepared as I can be. So starting at the top, there's a net type of pocket. I keep his clicker. We are clicker training. We try to associate the sound of the clicker and getting a treat. I'm not going to click it right now because he's gonna wake up and think a treat is coming. But speaking of treats, we also have the salmon recipe cuts. He absolutely loves these. These are from his Bark Box. Bark Box is a monthly subscription where you get toys, chews. Each month has a different theme and it's just, he loves it so much now inside the bag there is this little sleeve right here and this is where i keep he has a placemat which i really loved this came included with the bag so when he's eating it hopefully <laughs> won't spill everywhere and make a mess and it also comes with two collapsible bowls i really like these because he's super short being a corgi so this is how deep they can be and you know this is with it folded then you can also make it really shallow for him so he doesn't have to struggle to get in and eat but i love the detailing on these if you look they have tiny paw prints it's so adorable and they fit perfectly on the placement Mat. and then I don't know if you can see it but there is a divider in the bag and you can actually take this out if you wanted to but I keep it in to try and organize it a little bit so starting on the side closest to me he has a retractable leash and then attached to it I have even more poop bags poop bags literally everywhere in the house in the car in the bag on the leash but I have this one just in case I leave the bag in the car and all I have is the leash I always have it with me i really loved this one this is the earth rated brand it has a little clip on the back so if you don't have a trash can anywhere near you and you have 
a bag of poop, you can just attach it to the back of this and then dump it when you have the chance. And continuing, I have an extra harness with me just in case I forget his at home. This is one that didn't fully fit him because he was a little too small, but as he's getting bigger and I I'm pretty sure he can fit this now, but I personally prefer harnesses over collars, especially when attaching to a leash. I don't really want to choke him, so because this is around his body, I'm able to pull it from his back and not necessarily his neck. And then at the very bottom of this side, this bag came with two lunch boxes. Usually one is filled with food and the other is filled with treats. You can always double up on food as well. And then I also, carry unscented baby wipes. This is what I use after he poops. I like to wipe his butt. He has a lot of hair close to the ground. He can easily get dirty. 10 out of 10 recommend. You can also get dog wipes, but these work just as fine. And then on the right side, I keep four of his toys. So the first one is a ball. He loves this. He hasn't really gotten down fetch yet, but if you roll it, he will go crazy trying to get it. But it's funny because I'll say bring it back or fetch or put my hand out and he'll just run coming back, but he forgets the ball. So he's like, he's so close to getting it, but it's just, it's fine. It's fine, we'll get there. And the next one is Mr. Fox. This is his favorite toy since the day that we got him. If you watched my I Got A Puppy vlog, he was attached to this from the very beginning. It's like his little security blanket. I'll also be doing photos where I am comparing how much he's growing using this. So go ahead and follow his Instagram as well. It's Dexter underscore the Corgi with two eyes. And then I have a bone. This is a Nyla bone. It's just for him to chew on. Especially right now, his teething is insane. And I'm trying so hard to keep it a little bit under control. But for sure, I needed some sort of chew toy to be in this bag no matter where we go. And lastly, I have this rope. This is his favorite rope. It has a spiky element to it, which probably really helps his teething. And then lastly, in this bag, I keep a little blanket. I need to buy, <laughs> I need to buy him a different blanket. This is like Tinkerbell. <laughs> this is a spare blanket that I have, but it's super soft and he loves it. I keep it in here because I'm not gonna bring around a dog bed no matter where we go. But this is the blanket that we used when we first got him so he knows it, comfortable with it, and it's something that I wanna take with him to just have a little piece of home. Something that I usually keep in this bag but I don't currently have in it right now is a lint roller. Having a corgi that sheds so much, you need a lint roller. It has become a necessity to keep around at all times, especially since me and James have black interior in our cars. You see his hair everywhere and on your clothes. It's not so bad right now just because he's a puppy, but I do want to keep it around because I don't want hair to get everywhere. And that is all that I keep in this giant puppy bag. <laughs> Literally, I just tore this bag up. I'm sure after he gets his shots and we're able to go like hiking to the beach, to the dog park, the contents in this bag will probably change. But as of now, I live by everything that I keep in here. I've never been out of the house and think, oh my God, I should have brought that. Why didn't I bring it in my bag? Everything that I ever have needed while taking him out is in this bag. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget, be kind, love yourself, stay positive, and take care of your puppies. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you, I love you.